The great enemy of today is an evil spirit of unbelief combined with forgetfulness. This blinding and deceiving spirit is at work just as much in the church as in the secular world. We simply don't believe what the Bible says and don't remember the past. So many I talk to trust our governments and even believe that China isn't all that bad because they refuse to look at clear evidence. Anything that might suggest that there are concentration camps in China today and that there is a political agenda behind much of what we see unfolding in the world in general is brushed aside as conspiracy theory. And when you show them what Bill Gates said about overpopulation, they think you're crazy to suggest that we should be concerned about taking the vaccine. No one would be so evil wanting to kill people with a manufactured bioweapon or a virus or a vaccine, people say. Interestingly, a China military document from 2003 explaining how to weaponize coronaviruses was recently discovered. You can find it on YouTube. People have obviously forgotten about Mao, Stalin, Idi Amin, and Hitler, who with the help of many accomplices, including media propaganda, killed millions of Jewish people. Anyone who would have warned about this would have been called a conspiracy theorist. No one would kill and burn millions of people. Oh, really? They even say that Stalin killed 45 million Russians. But even though much of society has been blinded to some evil truth, there's also the good news about a loving, almighty God. However, since many Christians, just like the secular world, have bought the lies and propaganda of the media about the coronavirus, they obviously have forgotten, or never really believed, the stories in the Bible where God rescues his people at the last minute. Could it be that just as God's word is spiritually discerned, what we see unfolding in the world today must also be spiritually discerned? After all, Jesus said, without me you can do nothing, John 15, 5. He sent the Helper, the Holy Spirit, because we need him, John 14, 16. When we understand what time it is in the history of mankind, we know according to scripture that we are in the last days of the end time. And we also know that we have an enemy called Satan who deceives the whole world and who uses people for his evil schemes. Revelation 12. The devil hits and challenges us at the place where miracles are born, our faith to believe the impossible. According to Mark 9.23, everything is possible for one who believes. For Abraham, it was the place where he was about to sacrifice his son Isaac. God miraculously provided an animal for the sacrifice. Another place where the Lord performed a miracle was the city of Jericho. By faith, Joshua and his people marched around the city walls until God finally performed a miracle and the walls collapsed. Joshua 5.13 The enemy attacks where it matters most, our faith. After all, our relationship with Jesus Christ is based on faith. In Romans 1.17 we read the following, For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, The just shall live by faith. Faith is simply the starting point of our salvation. Ephesians 2.8 For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God. Since we did not personally see Jesus die on a cross for our sins, we can only believe by faith that he actually exists and that God's word is true. Of course, once we believe, he then later reveals himself to us, and believing turns into knowing. But when is it too late for God to do something? Jesus gave us a great example here with Lazarus. Not only was Lazarus dead, but Jesus also made sure that there was no question about it by waiting four days before raising him back to life. 
The fact is, God raises people from the dead. He is without limit in his power. The Goliaths of today are taunting the Christian church, saying, Where is your God? To the embarrassment of King Saul and David's brothers, young shepherd David took on the giant, killing him by faith and with God's help. Since God uses people and even nations, he is not done with America. He made a covenant with the U.S. that will not be broken. When we look around in the world, we can see that the U.S. is the only nation with the spiritual heritage and power, there are tenth of millions of believers in the U.S., to lead the world into the time of the greatest soul harvest ever. Please check out my America Prophecy from 2001, which you can find on YouTube. I believe that soon Donald Trump will come back as a David type. And when the body of Christ has been detoxified, see my post on the detoxification of the church, also on YouTube, and when the people are ready to face the truth head on, the deception by governments and mainstream media, it is then that God will suddenly step in. Trust him by faith and keep praying and waiting patiently. His promise stands. Joel 2:28, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Amen.